Now that we know the issues in getting accurate answers by simply calling an API, let's explore a more interesting solution. In the diagram of our solution, we have several elements. Let's start from the right-hand side. The docs or documentation serves as our knowledge base. It should be comprehensive and contain most answers to user questions. However, navigating it can be difficult for users and they may prefer to simply ask a question and expect an answer. We feed all documents into a document store and then use an embedding model to find relevant documents for user questions. Embedding model converts documents into numeric representations and stores them in a vector database. We also pass user questions to the embedding model to find similar documents through similarity search. A prompt template helps us create a dynamic prompt that includes the user question and similar documents. This prompt is passed to the LLM for generating an answer that is displayed to the user. Embeddings help find relevant documents without relying on keyword matches alone. Consider, for example, this question and a relevant document pair. The question is, how can I show my experiments to my team members? And then the document talks about collaborative reports and using weights and biases reports to organize runs, embed, automate visualizations, share updates with collaborators. There is zero lexical overlap between this question and answer. So if we rely on traditional search, we will not retrieve this document. However, there is a high semantic overlap and this document is actually very relevant to the question. And we use embedding models to find these semantically related documents for our questions. By training embedding models on large question answer pairs datasets, such as Stack Exchange, embeddings can effectively map questions and documents into a numeric space where we can compute similarity scores. How do we calculate similarity using our embedding model? We can use Euclidean distance which is the length of a line between two points in the vector space. Or we can use cosine similarity, which is the angle between two vectors. Both of these metrics are popular and demonstrate similar performance, but experimenting with them uh, could help find the best one for your specific data set. Sometimes embeddings don't work very well. Embeddings may struggle with domain-specific data like biology or chemistry as well as new terms or proper names. Solutions include training your own embedding model or combining embeddings with classic search algorithms, such as TFIDF or BM25. Consider learning about these methods if you're dealing with complex domain-specific data. In conclusion, using a powerful combination of document store, embedding models, and large language models can greatly improve the way users receive accurate and concise answers.